Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be working on the larder unit. Um, no, really sorry but um, I've just finished doing making the whole video and everything and I've just managed to delete the start and segment of the video and I can't find it anywhere. So I'm just going to go back and show you what I did. Now I bought this box and it was a wooden um, it was like for a little dolly and it had clothes and all the rest of it and we used the dolly we've had this box a long long time upstairs but you can get these boxes and they've got like the free slats in them for things like dominoes and stuff like that so that works out really just the nice size and we're going to use this to put all our little jars in this is going to be our larder unit and i so what i did was i sanded it all down and then before and painted everything, painted the whole thing inside, outside, undercoated it and then gave it a coat of paint. And then when I was putting the um, jars up inside it, I don't know if I'm show you with this little one, what was happening all the time was every time you moved it, the jar would fall out. So what I decided to do was to put it in so that when it came forward, it would just sit like that and it wouldn't, it wouldn't so much, it, it's not gonna tip out like it was before okay so i got some little struts and all i did was i got some jumble popsicle sticks and i cut them down to the size i wanted now i didn't want them too big because i wanted to be able to see where the writing was on it so i only really wanted them to be short so you could use an ordinary popsicle stick like that but mine were just too small um but that would be about the right width for it to be that sort of whip so I took this one and I um, just laid it on there measured it off how big I wanted it to be and then I took my pencil drew the line on it and then I took my blade now these blades I got into the works this is a new one because my other one is finished um, and I would just come down and I will just come along and I will cut it where my pen line is and I would just cut it right down like that Cut it all down. Um, you can use scissors on these popsicle sticks as well, but I find it was much easier with the knife if you can use the knife. Okay, so uh, I did that, and then I sanded this all down, sanded the whole of this down, undercoated these pieces, and the um, paint put the main colour on it, and I painted those separately and laid them separately, um, and then. We got to the bit now where I've got the rest of the video. So sorry about losing that video, but hopefully you can understand what we did. Um, this box is um, five inches by eight inches. So you could just do it with a five inch by eight inch box. And if you didn't want have get if you couldn't get a box with. Um, Shelves in it you could just make your own shelves using a piece this is just foam board okay so you could just use make your own shelves using a piece of foam board and just pop it in there and glue that in place like that okay so that basically is where we are and then I shall carry on with the rest of the video so I've been working on the little cabinet and it's come together all nice so I'm just going to put the little struts in which I've made to go across here and I thought the best play thing to do I thought would be to put some hot glue to hold this in place Oops, sorry I'm pulling it out so if I put a bit of hot glue that should just sit on there like that and that should just hold the whole thing securely in place along there just like that so I'm going to try and do is put some glue down inside it there There we go, I'm going to put a bit on that side and a bit on that side and then I'll pull it up and try and get it into place. And then I'll let that dry with the glue in there. I'm just going to do the last one. This one should be easy because that one should be able to be just pushed in. So don't leave your glue gun on when you finish. Make sure you turn your glue gun off. So I'm just going to pop that in there, pop that on there. Okay, that's the glue going on. Right, I'm going to slide that one in. Just on the bottom there. That's it. Right, okay. So with the bottom, you want to make sure it's flush with the bottom. You don't want it to come out. That's it. There we go. 
Okay, so I've got a little bit of glue sticking out there, which I'm just going to pull off. Leave that for a minute or two until that's completely dry. So there, it's all in and it's all holding in place nicely. So I could just give it a little touch up just there where the hot glue went on it, here and here. Um, I had to take the glue off and I've got another piece of hot glue. How did that manage to get hot glue down there? I just don't know. Right, okay. So and then I'm just going to fill it up so you can see what it looks like when it's finished. So I thought when I was putting the stuff in, I found two other things which I thought would be really nice to go in, or three I think it was, other bits which I thought would be really nice. I chose spaghetti because that looks quite small in the pot and I chose some lentils and the lentils look quite nice. Um, take no notice of these. These lids I've just put down somewhere in the room somewhere and I can't find them anywhere. I did lentils and I did rice was my other one which I did. So I've popped them all in there. Hopefully these look nice. Got some salt. I've got some cocoa. I've got some brown sugar. I've got some baking powder. Oopsie, brown sugar, baking powder. And I've got some icing sugar. And there we go. So that's it and it's looking really nice. I'm really pleased with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.